we just got back to Athens and this is the room I'm not gonna show you the room because nobody cares about the room <laughs> what we care about is this look at that look somebody come take a look at this we got the fucking Acropolis right behind us Set sign, four path markings along the cabin aisle will illuminate in darkness and guide you to the nearest exit in an emergency. So, so it's November 20th, it's about 8 a.m. and it's my birthday. So today I turned 34. I am in Greece for my 34th birthday and later on I'm gonna be in Barcelona, Spain. I would have never thought I'll be doing these things at 34. I didn't even know where I was gonna be at 34, but I'm, I'm very glad about where I am and I just want to shower so I can go out and take pictures. So it's November 20th, 2016, about 9 a.m. local time. It's my birthday. I am going to be uploading this probably a month from now because I have a lot of footage. I don't know where I'm going to fit in. So it's not my birthday today. My birthday was November 20th. There was a lot of nightlife. Everybody was outside. Everybody was clogging. There was a lot of craziness. But what I also saw was um, things that we don't get to experience every day was I saw little little girls maybe 14 15 selling flowers to help their family and those little things just make you realize how blessed some of us are or everybody is you know because you guys probably have 14 year old cousins and 14 year old daughters that do not have to do that on a weekend in the middle of a square to support your families so that just reminded me about every little thing that i have every little thing that i've been able to do and that i'm doing and i'm very grateful for that so today at 34 i have nothing to complain about um I, when i was 10 when i was 20 when i was 25 even 30 i would have never thought i was gonna spend my 34th birthday in greece walking out to Acropolis. Athens from up here. Now we're walking up to the top. This is the Parthenon. It's incredible to know that this has been here for so long throughout centuries. kind of understand without even looking into history books why they would choose this spot to build the Parthenon and everything that's around it because basically you have a 360 view of the whole city of Athens Geraldine's feeling a little down and she has sore throat but that's because she never listens when I say zip up your jacket so hopefully she feels a little better. We're gonna try to get her get her something for the cold. <clears throat> I was hesitant about coming up. I'm very happy I, I ended up coming up because up here you can really appreciate everything, all the infrastructure that's that was built from from the bottom. You would think that you're just gonna see a little building, but up here it looks amazing. <laughs>
thankful that my wife it's she's walking with me through here even though she feels sicky there she is thankful i get to spend my 34th birthday in greece thankful that i'm able to travel i'm walking I'm, i can see perfectly like you can't ask for anything how do you like it i like it Geraldine's aware that everything's made out of marble and that it must be very cheap, cheap to get it. Well, because when I do the houses over there and I need like marble countertops for the kitchen, it's very expensive. <laughs> and over here, like they make everything out of marble. So, what the hell? Is it mar marble or marble? Marble, right? Marble, well, it's marble is in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, bilingual problems. <laughs> Thirty-four today. Happy birthday! Thank you. 